Greetings everyone and welcome back to another episode of Plan B Success. What do you think is the one thing that will allow you to grow and spread your wings farther than you can ever fathom? It's the ability to trust another with responsibility, hold them accountable and ensure you leverage your power to delegate. The art of delegation is a necessity if you ever want to further your ambitions. Whether you're a career professional, ambitious of climbing that proverbial corporate ladder, or a business owner seeking to expand and influence more lives, letting go of the tasks and entrusting another with the outcomes so it can all come together to build something larger than yourself or your collective selves is very much needed yet doesn't come across easily to anyone. Many of us are mired in perfectionism and the need to control. As a result, want to do everything ourselves. But it's just not practical. The ability to trust another and leverage their abilities comes with practice. Perhaps first with smaller tasks followed by bigger ones. The inability to delegate can be overwhelming as the progress to be made slows down. Free up your time for the strategic work and also ensure you don't let the small stuff burn you out. While doing a task by yourself may give you control, the ability to entrust it to someone else frees you up and when delegated properly, to whose expertise is in doing the task, the outcomes will be of a higher quality too. Besides, you are empowering others to bring out their best in the work they do, feel proud and benefit from their craft. The art of delegating right first begins with working on your own mindset. Move the needle in your life and work from being reactive to proactive. Plan ahead and execute your plans. As a result, you will have the time and energy to accomplish your goals the right way. You will also be able to find the right people, train them, build a culture and ensure they operate from a sphere of proactiveness. All this will allow for mutual trust to flourish and stellar outcomes will manifest. You will no longer be the roadblock in the progress of what you set out to do, for the work is distributed right and is not completely dependent on just you doing everything. Be a leader than just a doer. Assign work as projects than just tasks. Motivate and challenge those you bring on board to use their own intelligence and get creative. Let their skills flourish too. Don't micromanage and let a higher quality of output thrive. The ability to make decisions, come up with solutions and take ownership can go a long way in what your team can do. Empower them. If you're still getting used to the power of delegation, learn to practice it. Make it a point to view everything you do from the standpoint of what you could do best versus another. That would be the work you need to delegate to others whose expertise it is. Lead and manage the entire project or work, no doubt. Know that there will also be a time when you need a key resource to do this for you as you set sights on more growth and strategic efforts. If still hesitant or uneasy with the process of delegation, start with a project you believe will be okay without your input. Examine the outcomes once done by another. Make tweaks as you repeat this process and get comfortable. Learn to understand what information those that you work with require to accomplish their jobs and provide it. There'll be a time when you will be okay with letting go. And when you do, it's time to give up on that control and let your team thrive. Meanwhile, you could focus on other things with your freed up time. Just like you, your team is also going through the same process of understanding, adjustment and figuring out their space on the team. Be mindful of this and coach them as and when possible. Be open to their opinions and thoughts and nurture them as your future leaders. Let them know that you trust them. This is what will build the culture you seek as you continue to grow together. When something isn't working, be open to change. When choosing who to delegate to, 
or while mentoring them through their journey, learn of your team members' strengths and weaknesses. Know what makes them tick and what they want to accomplish, and then ensure you help them get there. That is what leadership is all about. An empowered team that is solution-oriented can do wonders beyond your own imagination. Never forget to reward them for their contribution. You're all in this together. Hire well, train well, and then let go so they reach for the stars. And through them, you will too. Hey, I hope you liked that episode. Please do check out Plan B Success Podcast on your favorite listening platforms. It's also available on www.planb.live. If you're looking to learn how to podcast and learn everything there is to ideate, create, launch, and monetize a podcast, do get in touch through the website www.planb.live. I'll be more than happy to help. Thank you very much. Thank you.